the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. As we take part in this Eucharist today, my friends, let us introspect and ask a question to our own selves. How much I am faithful to God? Am I trustworthy that God may give me more responsibilities in my daily life? If you are not trustworthy, let us feel sorry and ask the Lord for pardon and mercy. I confess to, to Almighty God, God and, and to you, my brothers, brothers and sisters, that, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have, what I have failed, failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my, my most grievous fault. Grievous fault. Therefore, Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever-Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us all to life everlasting. Amen. Amen. You have called us out of darkness into your marvelous light so that we should be called the children of the most high Lord have mercy Christ have mercy Lord From whom all good things come, grant that we who call on you in our need may at your prompting discern what is right and by your guidance do it through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the first book of Kings. In those days, King Ahab sent to all the people of Israel and gathered the prophets together at Mount Carmel. And Elijah the came near to all the people and said, How long will you go limping between two different opinions? If the Lord is God, follow him. But if Baal, then follow him. And the people did not answer him a word. Then Elijah said to the people, I, even I only, am left a prophet of the Lord. But Baal's prophets 
are 450 men. Let two bulls be given to us, and let them choose one bull for themselves, and cut it in pieces and lay it on the wood. But put no fire to it, and I will prepare the other bull, and lay it on the wood, and put no fire to it. And you call upon the name of your God, and I will call upon the name of the Lord. And the God who answers by fire, he is God. And all the people answered, It is well spoken. Then Elijah said to the prophets of Baal, Choose for yourselves one bull and prepare it first, for you are many, and call upon the name of your God, but put no fire to it. And they took the bull that was given to them, and they prepared it, and called upon the name of Baal from morning until noon, saying, O Baal, answer us. But there was no voice, and no one answered. And they limped round the altar that they had made. And at noon, Elijah mocked them, saying, Cry aloud, for he is a god. Either he is musing, or he is relieving himself. Or he is on a journey, or perhaps he is asleep and must be awakened. And they cried aloud and cut themselves after their custom, with swords and lances, until the blood gushed upon, upon them. And as midday passed, they raved on until the time of the offering of the oblation, but there was no voice. No one answered, no one paid attention. Then Elijah said to all the people, Come near to me. And all the people came near to him. And they repaired the altar of the Lord that had been thrown down. And Elijah took twelve stones, according to the number of the tribes of the sons of Jacob, to whom the word of the Lord came, saying, Israel shall be your name. And with the stones he built an altar in the name of the Lord. And he made a trench about the altar, as great as would contain two measures of seed. And he put the wood in order, and cut the bull in pieces, and laid it on the wood. And he said, Fill four jars with water, and pour it on the burnt offering, and on, an, on the wood. And he said, Do it a second time. And they did it a second time. And he said, Do it a third time. And they did it a third time. And the water ran round the altar and filled the trench also with water. And at the same time of the offering of the oblation, Elijah the prophet came near and said, O Lord, God of Abraham, Isaac, and Israel, let it be known this day that you are God in Israel, and that I am your servant, and that I have done all these things at your word. Answer me, O Lord, answer me, that this people may know that you, O Lord, are God and that you have turned their hearts back. Then the fire of the Lord fell and consumed the burnt offering, and the wood and the stones and the dust, and licked up the water that was in the trench. And when all the people saw it, they fell on their faces and said, The Lord, he is God. The Lord, he is God. Word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. Response, O real psalm, your response shall be, Preserve me, O God, for in you I take refuge. Preserve me, O God, for in you I take refuge. Preserve me, O God, for in you I take refuge. I say to the Lord, you are my God. A response? Preserve me, O God, for in you I take refuge. Those who choose other gods increase their sorrows. I will not take part in their offerings of blood, nor will I take their names upon my lips. A response? Preserve me, O God, for in you I take refuge. O Lord, it is you who are my portion and cup, you yourselves who secure my Lord. I keep the Lord before me always, with him at my right hand, I shall not be moved. A response? Preserve me, O God, for in you I take refuge. You will show me the path of life, the fullness of joy in your presence, at your right hand, bliss forever. A response? Preserve me, O God, for in you I take refuge. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. Teach me your paths, O Lord. Guide me in your truth. Alleluia. 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 
The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. At that time, Jesus said to his disciples, Do not think that I have come to abolish the law or the prophets. I have not come to abolish them, but to fulfill them. For truly I say to you, until heaven and earth pass away, not an iota, not a dot will pass from the law until all is accomplished. Therefore, whoever relaxes one of the least of these commandments and teaches others to do the same will be called least in the kingdom of heaven. But whoever does them and teaches them will be called great in the kingdom of heaven. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord, Lord Jesus Christ. Do we burn with the zeal of Elijah towards God? My brothers and sisters in Christ, Usually, I do not preach my homilies on the first reading, but today I will dwell on the first reading for the reflection. We see Elijah standing before the people and the authorities. Every time I do this reading or I read this again and again, it inspires me and gives me so much of zest in my heart that I'm not able to overcome and in the first reading today, if you have followed how Elijah talks right from the beginning till the end, you should have seen how many different actions that Elijah does. First, Elijah dares to call everybody together. My brothers and sisters, if you have to announce a message, you have to call somebody to come closer. Then. Elijah calls the people to come to closer. Then he calls the authorities to come closer. Then when he has gathered everybody, then he speaks. He just doesn't speak on a random. But rather, his speech is a challenge. Elijah, who dared to gather everybody together, challenges everyone and says, how many days you are going to go on limping between this God and that God? Come. Today, let us find out who the true God is. He challenges them. And then after having challenged them, he mocks at them. You see, the fire of God which was in Elijah was so much that when he looks at the, the inhuman things that the prophets of the Baal were doing, he could not take it. And then when the prophets of Baal could not identify themselves or could not verify themselves or could not prove their God was a true God, he mocks at them. That's the third thing that he does. He dared to call them together, he challenged them and then he mocked their God. He tells in the first reading, if you have heard, I'm the only prophet left. Whereas the, the prophets of Baal and the priests of Baal were 450 in number, which you will find after the the entire incident or after the today's first reading, if you go on and continue to read, you will find there were 450 priests of Baal there. After having mocked, then he puts his faith to test. He tested his faith. My dear brothers and sisters, for the priests of Baal, they had to just ask for the fire to come down from heaven. But when it was the turn of Elijah, Elijah says, pour water on the sacrifice. So the water was poured on the sacrifice, that is on the bull, then the, the, the stones, everything was wet, and the water filled even the trench. Three times water was poured on the sacrifice. And then when he tested his faith and then he pleads to God, then he says, O oh God, let all those who are gathered here know that you are the true God. Then finally, he proved that God is the living God. 
our God is the living God. My dear brothers and sisters in Christ, in the book of Deuteronomy, when the people of Israel were marching in the wilderness or in the desert, this was the word that they constantly used. Who is like our God, who is so close to us, who understands our feeling and our needs and always caters to us and always at our side, walking with us towards our promised land. My dear brothers and sisters, this was the same faith that Eliah had and because of which Eliah continues to do what he had to do for God. So therefore, when you see the entire reading, Eliah dares to gather the people to himself, he challenges them, he mocks them, he tests his faith and then he pleads for the Lord's intervention and finally he proved that God is truly God. And after this first reading, you continue to read then he calls to the people and says, now you know who is the true God and what are we to do with these? So they killed the 450 priests of Baal, 450 priests, prophets of Baal there. But dear brothers and sisters, in this manner, Eliah proves who the true God is. And for him, all that was in his mind was God and the love for God and the zeal for God and nothing else. He was so blind of God that nothing more he could think of. Last week's one of the reading, a scribe of the law came to Jesus and asked Jesus, what is the first commandment? And Jesus said, love your God with all your heart, with all your mind, with all your soul and with all your strength. What is to love God with all your strength? This is loving God with all the strength. Eliah did not believe anybody, but rather he believed in what God had promised and he believed whom he is following or whom he is having his faith on and because of which he dared to call everybody together and challenge them and mock them of their faith and of their God. My dear brothers and sisters, this is loving God with all the strength. And in today's gospel, Jesus says, uh, not even an iota or a dot which is written in the law will go away without being coming to fulfillment. And Jesus says, it is not the law that it is important, but the spirit of the law. And when we follow the spirit of the law, the one who gave the law was more important than anything else. And it is God who gave the law to Moses. And God destined people of Israel to walk in that particular manner. But then, as they slowly gave up God for small things, gave up God for meager things, Eliah had to intervene to teach them or to prove to them who the real God is. My dear brothers and sisters, do we or have we realized who the true God is in our lives? Today, people are having a doubt who the true God is at this time? Is it COVID or God? Is it COVID or God? Because God is not able to extinguish the pandemic COVID. But then COVID has already locked all the churches and closed all the doors. If that is the case, who is God? Has Corona become a, became, become a God? The other day, I was reading an article where a child is asked, please explain in a paragraph of 10 lines what COVID or Corona is. The child goes on writing, Corona is one of the major fees. And when this Corona comes, we have holidays. Everybody stay at home. We have different, different dishes and items to eat. Whole time we keep eating and we enjoy so much that all are having a great feast. My dear brothers and sisters, Corona has already become a feast. I'm sure and I, I doubt it can even become God. Therefore, check your faith today. If you're limping between these two, like Elijah, someone has to come. To question your faith, to ask you how many more days that you're going on limping. Maybe Corona seems to you big today. But then in front of, of a living God, it is small. A day will come when all these pandemic will go away. And it is at this time that you got to still prove on. Tell yourself, in all these situations, oh God, 
I was faithful. Are we able to say that? Will we be able to live like that? Will we have the zeal that Elijah was burning with every day for the living God? Amen. Jesus, you're the one I love. You're the one I know. You're the one who makes me strong. Spirit in my soul. From the clouds of yesterday through the night of pain. Teach me, Lord, to know your way. Know it once again. Bread blessed and broken for us all. Symbol of your love from the grain so tall. Bread blessed and broken for us all. Bread of life you give to us, bread of life for all. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty. Father, may the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Look kindly upon our service, O Lord, we pray, that what we offer may be an acceptable oblation to you, and lead us to grow in charity through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your heart. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For in goodness you created man, and when he was justly condemned, in mercy you redeemed him through Christ the Lord. Through him the angels praise your majesty, dominions adore and powers tremble before you. Heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim worship together with exaltation. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in humble praise. As we are claim Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts Heaven and earth are full of Full of your glory Hosanna in the highest, Hosanna in the highest, Hosanna in the highest. Holy is the Lord, blessed is the one who comes in the name of the Lord. Blessed is the one who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Hosanna in the highest. Hosanna in the highest. Holy is the Lord. You are indeed holy. 
holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, he broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Peter, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with St. Joseph, her chaste spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coerced to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to pray. Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy, thy kingdom, kingdom come, thy, thy will, will be done, done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, trespasses as, as we forgive, forgive those who trespass against, against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, O Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will. 
who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And, and with, with your, your spirit. spirit. Let us offer each other a sign of peace. Lamb of God, you, you take, take away, away the, the sins, sins of the world. world. Have, Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are we who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Spiritual Communion Prayer My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, please come spiritually into my heart. I embrace you now as if you were already there, and I unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. May your healing work, O Lord, free us, we pray, from doing evil, and lead us to what is right through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, Come down on you and remain with you forever. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God.
Blessings, O oh God, we pray at this time. O oh God, you are the healer. And healers of all our speculations, sickness, worries, and troubles. O oh God, as we surrender ourselves into your hands now, you are the God who healeth. You are the God who guideth. As you guarded and guided the people of Israel, on the journey in the wilderness towards the promised land. You not only promised them of all luxuries in the promised land, but you even took care of them their way as well. As they were on the journey, when they were hungry, you fed them. When they were thirsty, you gave them water from the rock to drink. You didn't stop at that. But rather, when they were tired of eating the tasteless food, you gave them quails, you gave them meat to relinquish their diet. Oh God, you are a God who takes care of the tiny needs of us, the humans. Most of the times, you are with us. But today, we need to introspect and ask, are we with you? Most of the times we fail to be with you, but we constantly pray, oh God, be with us. But you are assured, you have assured that you are always with us. The Gospel according to St. Matthew, chapter 28, verse 20, Jesus made a promise. He said, I will be there with you, till the end of times. My friends, God is always with us. But ask a question today. Am I with God? Are we with God? Come what situations different might be. It could be a pandemic. It could be another sickness. It could be a financial crisis. It could be misunderstanding in the family. It could be some stress in the office, some tensions. In all this, God is always with us. But the question is, am I with God? Most of the times, the answer would be a no. Today, as we kneel before the Lord, as we kneel before the presence of the Lord, where the Lord who is seated and throned might give us the strength and grace to stay with him always. 247. As we kneel down, let us offer our lives before him. Let us offer all our worries and troubles, all the sickness of ours and our loved ones and the pandemic of the whole world. Let us offer it to him. Let the Lord take care. Come fill our homes with your presence. You alone are 
allow the Lord to come and fill his presence, my friends. As for me, Open the doors of your hearts at this time. Open the doors of your homes, your families. And open the doors where you want his presence to come in and fill at this right time. Early this morning as we watch or as we take part in this adoration, ask the Lord, Lord, come and fill me with your presence. Fill my heart, fill my family, fill my friends, fill my place, fill my working space and fill everywhere I move about. With your presence, you alone are worthy of our reverence. As for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. As for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. As for me and my house, we will serve. Lift up your hands and sing. We will serve the Lord. We will serve the Lord. God, our loving Father, we praise and bless you for this morning. As those who are knelt now at this right time, who are praying for your presence in their lives, in their hearts, in their homes, in their families, and in their working spaces. Lord, be with them, guide them, and strengthen them. Oh God, you are a healer, and at this time, we pray that you fill your presence with all those people who are praying for your presence at this right moment. God, we pray that you give peace and serenity to every family where there are fights, where there are misunderstandings. Lord, be with them as sick, in times of sickness as healing, in times of worries as consolation, in times of fear as strength and courage, in times of need as the only resource. We pray, Lord, that you extend your hands of blessing as you extended it once to Abraham. You said, Abraham, go forth and be a blessing to the nations. Whoever blesses you is blessed, and whoever is cursed is cursed. God, send everyone who are taking part in this adoration as a blessing. Wherever they go, they might carry a blessing, they might be a blessing themselves. We make our prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Sacramento mirabili, passiones tuve memoriam reliquisti, tribuve que sumo, ita nos corporis sanguinis, et tui sacra mysteria venerari, utridem sionis tuve fructum in nobis iugiter sensiamus, qui vivis et regnam in secula seculorum. Amen.
moment more.